Hey Crafty Cuties, I bought a couple things and I just wanted to share them with you because that's what I do. Um, I was meeting my friend at Joann's today and Alistair and I went to Dollar Tree and Walmart just to look for a couple things and I had to get some groceries. So I wanted to specifically get a couple more inks and stamp pad so that I can do a video for you guys. I have so much ink, I probably have like 30 inks, I don't need these. But hey, I told myself it was for a video. I am going to do a Joann's 199 bin test it out kind of video. So we know that these are super affordable. They're 40% off right now, so they're $1.09 each. And if you were able to get them when you had that extra 20% off, even less. So I want to see how well they work. Now I already watched um, a video, Eclectic Crafter, and she tested out the gold pigment inks and they looked really great. So if you, um, you know, want to go check out her video, I'm gonna have that link below because I kind of got my idea from her, but I just wanted to test out a whole series of things in one video. So that's why I picked these and I may pass these on after I use them if they are good just because I don't need extras in my collection and I hate hoarding right now. It's like one thing I'm trying to avoid so much. These, I've been needing these for a while. I use these, I like to use these on my handmade books. I love having these on the corners of the books. They look so pretty. And these were actually less expensive than I thought. With the sale that was going on, they were about $2. And let's see, you get 12 corners. And so I can probably use these on about four books because I like to have them on all four of the end corners. So excited to grab those. Um, I went ahead and got one of these packs of bags. These are also in the Joann's $1.99 section and you get 12 of them. I thought that was pretty good. I like the size. I like that these are really small and I will be using these in my handmade journals and books for sure. So I felt okay um, picking those up because I knew I would use them. So when we went to Dollar Tree, um, I decided to grab another pack of these because I just ran out. I love using these again in my handmade books. If you can't tell, I am really into only buying things that I know I'm going to use right now um, or use for a video. So I'm trying to be really mindful of when I have things in my stash, when I run out and so on and so forth. So since I only had a couple things to share with you guys, I thought if you wanted to listen to me chat, maybe you're getting ready for the day, maybe you're doing some crafting. I wanted to tell you something that I started and I have this little journal here. Uh, I don't know, it's Christian LaCroix. I'm not sure, I think it's like supposed to be a fancy little um, book. My son got it, he won it in like a giveaway and he never uses it. I always try to get him to use it and he doesn't. So I'm using it and I started doing some morning journaling. I'm not really gonna share with you what I write, but I don't really care if you were able to see that. Um, and I forget, I think it's, maybe it's called just morning journaling. I'll put a little word here if that's not correct. The idea is that every single morning when you wake up, you write three pages in your journal. You're supposed to try to do it right when you wake up and you're supposed to do it without overthinking. You basically just continue writing. You don't worry about grammar. You don't worry about having good handwriting. Run on sentences are, a, like a good thing you don't have to worry about being proper and you just write every single thing that's on your mind and the thing I liked about it I was watching a video explaining it and she said even if you can't think of something to write you can write I don't know what to write I don't know what to write for three pages she's like but chances are you are going to come up with things actual things to say now I've only done it two days and the first day I will be honest I wrote two and a half pages and I gave up because I did it after Alistair was awake and literally every two words he was like asking me a question I didn't feel like I was giving it my best because I couldn't think straight so I knew I wanted to start doing this before he wakes up he does wake up between seven and eight so it's kind of early but I want to start my mornings earlier and before him so today I did get up before him I got up around six he didn't get up till 7 30 and I did not write in my journal but I got up and I had coffee and then I ended up scrolling on social media so my goal is that tomorrow I can actually wake up early and do my journaling. But I did do my journaling today, I just did it after I was up and out of bed. So I am going to make it a point to bring this 
into my room and have it next to my bed. And um, I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's a kind of a fun thing. I feel like it's going to help really like for clarity and just to kind of get your mind thinking and your thoughts out on paper, which is really good for anxiety and stress and you really don't have to put too much work into it. I'll be honest, my hand got tired yesterday and today because I never write and I always want to. I used to have so many journals and I used to do so much writing. I loved writing stories and books and I have so many like just out in my garage in boxes and it's so fun to look through those and I want to continue doing stuff like that so that I can pass it on to my kid and just so I can even look back even in a year it's so fun to look back in your old journals and I know a lot of us crafters do things like scrapbooking and memory keeping with photos and you know short journaling but something like this I feel really gets in your mind it really gets into how you're feeling and it really shows who you are deep down inside and I think that's such a beautiful thing to write down on paper and why am I starting to cry oh my gosh I'm emotional so some of you already know I shared the things that I got today on my Instagram and I I posted kind of a sappy thing I really try to keep that away from my craft channel I try to keep all of that on my vlog channel but I mentioned I was just really scared to take a pregnancy test because it's about time where I could take one um, but I'm scared that I'm not going to be pregnant because we've been trying for a while if you didn't know and um, this month I took fertility medica medication anyways so I'm feeling emotional but that happens to me when my period's coming and so anyways that's that's not for those channels so okay guys I just really just want to talk and share with you what I got thanks for stopping by and thank you guys for being so sweet and loving me because I love you too and I will talk to you later bye